Welcome back. Today is National Tequila Day. And since it's probably not the best idea going out with friends to have a couple of drinks, how about staying in to enjoy this holiday? Joining me now to make up a simple cocktail we can make at home, we have Tess, or Steph Tesler, excuse me, a local mixologist, which just sounds cool, and you're surrounded by some of my favorite things. <laughs> Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. You know, what's, what's interesting about tequila is there are so many different levels of it. And if you really are into it, you can taste the difference. You can smell the difference. And a lot of people just sip it. Absolutely. I love to just sip on tequila. It's actually probably my favorite way to enjoy tequila, especially on National Tequila Day. No doubt. All right. So you are going to make a simple cocktail um, that we might need to hit the store. Or it looks like maybe some things that you might even have in the fridge now. Yeah, so the goal of this cocktail is really to hopefully provide um, a recipe for everyone at home that they can easily replicate with stuff that you can find at any grocery store. So if you want, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, let's do it. Great, so we're gonna be making a Paloma today. Uh, Paloma is a traditional Mexican cocktail. Sometimes it involves grapefruit soda. Uh, today we're gonna actually make it with fresh grapefruit juice because I love fresh citrus. I live in Florida also, so I love using some fresh citrus in a cocktail. So first thing, we are going to do a little rim on the glass here. This is a sugar and salt rim. I like to rim half of the glass to make sure that if you don't want all of that salt or sugar, you don't necessarily need to have it. So let me ask, so you mix the sugar and the salt together instead of just salt? I do. Okay. Yep, I like to mix it together, but you're more than welcome to omit one or the other if you don't want, or completely omit the whole thing. You don't need sugar and salt on the rim. This cocktail is already sweet enough. All so right. next step here, we're going to use some agave nectar. We're going to use about a half of agave nectar. Um, if you don't have agave nectar at home, you're welcome to use any kind of sugar. Uh, you can use honey as you want, if you want as a substitute. You can really use any of that. So, half ounce of agave. Next up, we have some fresh lime juice. Now, I highly recommend fresh lime juice. And in Florida, I know we have some beautiful citrus. So, definitely recommend the fresh lime juice there. And then after that, we are going to add our grapefruit juice. We're going to go two and three quarter ounces of fresh grapefruit juice in this cocktail. I love All right. And then last but not least, we are going to do an ounce and a half of our lovely Patron tequila. We're using Patron Reposado today. This is aged between three and five months. And also this is verified 100% additive free. All right. So one and a half ounces of that. And then we're going to add a little bit of ice here and give it a nice shake. All right. So we have the recipe up there now. Um, and I like when you do things at home because you can tweak as you see fit, make it less sweet, make it a little stronger, a little weaker. You have that option. So you're just going to give it a quick little shake. And then you want to yes. put it in your tall glass. And yes. And we're going to add a little ice here to the glass. Okay like this. They're wrapping me, but we got to see this finished product, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. And then we're going to add this here. And then don't forget when you're finished to add a little bit of soda water to the top. Yeah, that gives it a sparkle. Yes. All right, Steph, thank you. And make it pretty with a little much. nice straw and a little bit of extra citrus. Perfect. All right, and tequila is low in calories, though. I have to note that it's one of the lower calorie liquors, so. If it's one of my favorite things that. to drink. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for that. And we'll be Thank back you. after the break.